Hey, so family, I'm back with part two of the previous message about the um, person that is either connected to you or was connected to you that had an undercover secret lover. As I was saying, that spirit is saying that you are beautiful. Um, you're being upgraded. You can do this. Just keep moving forward. Don't let this situation stagnate you. You are manifesting greatness. Spirit is also saying that you're in your North Node, meaning you heal from this karmic situation. You are being guided to listen to your intuition because you are being divinely guided. Like I said, this is not everybody's message, but for those whose message that it is, if it resonates, take, take what resonates. But um, at this moment, you are at peace. It says, I am unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenge. I'm determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. You are manifesting peace right now. Um, Spirit saying that you are not letting the situation um, take you under. You are a manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines and my inner light grows. So you are a, manif you are a manifestation of light. You are a light worker. You may be a star seed, like I said. And you are embracing unconditional love because you are realizing that even through this situation you have to give humility to unhealed people and you have to become better not bitter it says my heart is free from resentment towards others i open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being i am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people i see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness <laughs> And remember, okay, God, sorry about that. That was my baby. But anyway, um, positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being. I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. So you are thinking positive. If you're not thinking positive, you need to think positive in this situation because you are overcoming this situation. Um, just remember that healing is a process. Uh, it takes time, one day at a time. It says, I am light. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and I'm spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with my, with, with all my being. So you are a child of the light and being a child of the light, you know that this situation was so toxic. You could not stay in this situation. This is not a situation that a, a, per, a person of the light can live, thrive and grow in. And you have to, as you heal, you will ascend to levels to where you will no longer uh, resonate with people that are in a lower vibrational state. You will no longer resonate with people that um, are still participating in toxic activities because it will stifle you as a chosen one, as a child of the light. It says gratitude. I'm aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts. Riches surround me and I appreciate all that light brings. So you are living in a space of gratitude because you realize that what they did, they did not do it to you. But in order for you to heal and to spiritually awaken, whatever is done what we perceive is done to us is being done for us because you could never awaken to who you truly are uh, in God and who you truly are in this experience that we called life here on earth because you are not a physical being having a spiritual experience. You are spirit 
having a physical experience. And so you're going to go through these types of situations as you heal. But as you heal, these types of situations will no longer hurt you. You will not stay in a hurt state of mind. You will not stay uh, in a wounded or bitter or defenseful type of mindset. You will forgive. You will move on. You will know. You will not even remember this. There's part of the journey that you go through. Cause I know for myself, part of the things that I went through or what we call in the physical or, uh, for our avatar is what we call trauma that we've experienced. Some of those things I don't even remember because it was fated for me to go through those things. And as I heal and I'm continuing to heal, um, I'm not trying to remember those things. I'm not trying to wake up every day reliving the same uh, timeline because I'm not, I'm no longer on that timeline. I, I don't hold any grudges against anybody that um, was deceitful in my life, whether it was a lover, whether it was uh, a spouse, whether it was family, whether it was friends, whatever it is. Um, I realized that those people were placed in my life as my Judas's because, um, we all have a Judas. And if Judas had not betrayed Jesus, Jesus would not have made it to the cross. But Judas was born to be the son of perdition, whether you read the Bible, believe in the Bible or not. Um, the story of Jesus and Judas is what it is. That relationship was fated to be in order that the will of God in the betrayal of Jesus be fulfilled. So don't be upset with the people that if you feel like if you're still in a sense of they betrayed me, because once you heal, there is no betrayal. You, you realize there is no betrayal. There is no hurt. There is no pain because you ascend past that. And once you ascend past that, um, there's nothing but love and, you give love to the situation and you're supposed to give love to the situation. But somebody might say, how can I give love to a situation that caused me so much hurt? Cause you're not supposed to stay in that hurt. That's what it, it was the catalyst to your healing. And had it not happened, you would not have awakened to realize it, it made you not only awaken, but you found your strength. You found not only your safe place, but you found your strong place. You found out who you are and you're still finding out who you are in the spiritual realm. You might just be an ordinary Joe or, 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 or Sue in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm, baby, you hold weight in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, you are a high ranking warrior. And touching you or bringing harm to you or coming against you comes at a very high price. These people are in spiritual jail. Some of these people are going to physical jail for the things that they did to you because as above, so below. Some of these people are going to have to leave here because there's not enough room on the earth realm for you and them because some of them have not stopped trying to do what they're doing to you. And although they know who you are now, they're angry because as you rise up and as you shine, you are shining a light on their demons and their your light irritates their demons. So you have got to realize that who you are, you need to be you unapologetically be yourself. Don't not stand in your power, stand in your power, speak your truth. It's a part of your healing journey. I love you guys. If this message resonates with you, leave me a like, leave me a comment. If it is not your message, I do understand. It's not going to be everybody's message. If this message is for somebody that you think need it, share it with them repost it i'll catch you guys on the next one i love y'all and keep going keep growing keep healing